We will now start with the presentation of awards. The forced awards will be presented to the Florida Fish and Wildlife Conservation Commission, presented by Gary Willis, Lakeland Lions Club. Thank you. Good afternoon, everyone. I have the distinguished honor of presenting this nominee. He has, for over 29 years, have served both the Game and Fish Commission and the Florida Fish and Wildlife Commission. Our nominee was the Officer of the Year in 1988 for the Game and Fish Commission. Both this officer and family are heavily involved in the rodeo sports and is active in the Wounded Warrior Program. They advise and mentor service members who were participating in numerous events associated in Operation Outdoor Freedom. This officer has been assigned to work Indian River, St. Lucie, Okeechobee, Polk, and Hillsborough counties. This officer has mentored and trained many Florida Fish and Wildlife Conservation Commission officers in the skill of effectively apprehending poachers and resource violators. This officer has organized many special operations involving multiple state and local law enforcement agencies and has received a new assignment and position as the Florida Fish and Wildlife Conservation Commissioner Officer overseeing enforcement in the Lake Wales Ridge Forest in 2013. For, 20, for the 2014 Florida Fish and Wildlife Conservation Commission Officer Distinguished Service Award, I am proud to introduce Officer Alton Still. Next, for the Florida Fish and Wildlife Conservation Commission Officer of the Year. This officer has been employed as a law enforcement officer with the state of Florida since 2005 and was promoted to investigator in the Polk County area in 2008. This officer was nominated for the Florida Fish and Wildlife Commission Investigator of the Year in 2013 and has been the Southwest Region Investigator of the Year four times and this year was one of only two investigators selected to attend the National Hunting Incident Investigation Academy. This officer had a very interesting and rewarding career prior to employment with the commission as a non-commissioned officer in the United States Army. One notable assignment was with the Old Guard in Washington, D.C. This officer held the rank of Staff Sergeant and was selected to the National Honor Guard for President Ronald Reagan's funeral in Washington, D.C. This officer was deployed to both Afghanistan and Iraq with the United States Congressional Delegation to provide security for Congressman Tom Osborne from the state of Nebraska, who went to the heart of Baghdad. This investigator has been a key member of the Florida Fish and Wildlife Commission, Honor Guard assisting with funerals and training around the state. When an incident occurred in the Southwest region requiring the Honor Guard, this officer was one of the first members to arrive and to start the initial planning. This officer has been recognized for commitment and expertise in this area. This year alone, this officer has instructed 65 days and still have been able to keep one of the heaviest caseloads in the Southwest region. This officer has been requested to instruct for other partner, partnering agencies throughout the state and has assisted with the integration of the self-dispatch and is a mobile computing terminal super user that helped with the development and testing of the mobile computing terminal. For 2014, the Florida Fish and Wildlife Conservation Commissioner Officer of the Year, I'm proud to introduce Investigator One, Joseph Brooks. Thank you. I will first present the Polk County Fire Rescue Services Distinguished Service Award. On May 8, 2013, this firefighter paramedics unit responded to a report of a patient in cardiac arrest. The team began advanced life support care while firefighter Corey Hester began setting up equipment. 
The patient's condition subsequently deteriorated and cardiac arrest protocol was started. At that time, Engine 221 arrived and assisted with CPR and patient packaging. The patient again began experiencing fibrillation. Our nominee suggested a new therapy, which had just been incorporated, that of giving a massive shock by the use of two defibrillators utilized simultaneously. This action resulted in the patient producing a pulse-producing rhythm. The patient was then transported to the hospital and made a full recovery and later discharged to his home. This firefighter paramedic's aggressiveness and intelligence resulted in a successful save and gave the patient a second chance at life. A sister agency has reviewed their protocol regarding the use of dual defibrillators and amended theirs. For the 2014 Polk County Fire Rescue Distinguished Service Award winner, I am proud to introduce firefighter paramedic Charlie True. And now for the Polk County Fire Rescue Services Officer of the Year. In the early morning hours of June 14, 2013, this firefighter responded to a residential fire in Mulberry and found a wood frame house presenting heavy smoke from both the front and sides. A neighbor strongly indicated to the team that someone was inside. This firefighter, with the battalion chief's approval, immediately entered the burning building in an exception to the normal operating procedure due to the existence of very reliable information of occupancy. Upon the initial sweep, even while blinded by smoke, this firefighter discovered an unconscious female victim. He radioed the arriving engine company of his discovery and informed them that he would be exiting the structure with the victim. As they approached the door, the victim became very combative and began to physically struggle with her rescuer. It was only as a result of the firefighter's persistence and excellent physical condition that allowed control of the victim. Upon exiting, this firefighter was met by other responders who assisted the victim. Our firefighter then seamlessly transformed from firefighter rescuer to paramedic, utilizing equipment and protocols that are not commonplace with every fire service organization. The patient was treated using a carbon monoxide monitor which indicated a carbon monoxide level of 16. Utilizing newly established carbon monoxide protocol to include a cyano kit, advanced care was initiated. Other life support measures such as advanced life support, endotracheal intubation, bag valve mask and advanced cardiac monitoring prepared the victim for airlifting to the Tampa General Hospital for further treatment. The combination of heroism, selflessness, and effective utilization of technology and protocols resulted in the successful rescue and resuscitation of the victim. For the 2014 Polk County Fire Rescue Officer of the Year, I am proud to introduce firefighter paramedic Jordan Caldwell. Next awards, Lakeland Fire Department, presented by John Griffin, Lakeland Rotary. Good afternoon. In the early morning hours of August 12, 2013, Engine 31 was dispatched along with first alarm responders to a general fire alarm on East Bella Vista Street. Upon arrival, Engine 31 entered the structure and went to the alarm panel on the first floor. Upon entry, they encountered a light haze of smoke coming from the ceiling and the air conditioning vents. The acting lieutenant radioed Battalion Chief 2 and advised of this finding. The Battalion Chief ordered all trucks to respond to the emergency and set up command outside the structure. The battalion chief advised Engine 31's crew to advance to the second floor and check for fire extension. At apartment 204, the acting lieutenant noticed smoke staining and active smoke coming from the room. The battalion chief radioed re Rescue 32 to come to the second floor with forcible entry tools to assist in the opening the door. The acting lieutenant and the firefighter, realizing that they had limited time for survivability, began forcing the metal door, which was locked with a deadbolt, by kicking it. 
After several unsuccessful attempts, they finally kicked the door in and found an unconscious woman on the floor with black soot around her nose and mouth and burns on her legs. Without delay, the acting lieutenant and the firefighter picked up the woman and took her down the stairs to safety as Rescue 32 had not made it to the second floor yet. When sufficient medical personnel arrived to treat the victim, they went back to the second floor to search for further fire extension and to assist in ventilation. These officers demonstrated what it takes to be a fireman for the city of Lakeland and to go above and beyond the call of duty to save lives and protect property. For the 2014 Lakeland Fire Department Distinguished Service Award, I'm proud to introduce driver engineer Michael Smith and firefighter paramedic Luis Hernandez. This nominee has been employed as a firefighter with the Lakeland Fire Department since June 2003 and is actively involved with the Children's Burn Foundation as well as the International Association of Firefighters. This firefighter is also a member of the Florida Urban Search and Rescue Team 421, gaining the knowledge and the expertise to perform technical rescues such as confined space enclosures, high angle rope events, building collapse, trench rescue and machinery entrapment. This firefighter came to the city of Lakeland from Bogota, Colombia and has achieved many accomplishments, including earning U.S. citizenship and obtaining certification as State of Florida firefighter, paramedic, and registered nurse. During spare time, <laughs> this firefighter has obtained an associate's degree in liberal arts from Polk State College and will soon earn a bachelor's of nursing degree from the University of South Florida. For nearly a decade, this firefighter has served as a volunteer for the Children's Burn Foundation Camp Tequesta in Umatilla, Florida, donating hundreds of hours and personal time to help children overcome the emotional and physical wounds associated with burn injuries. In September 2013, this firefighter was nominated and appointed to attend the International Burn Camp in Washington, D.C., one of only three representatives from Florida selected to attend where this firefighter mentored children from all over the United States and Canada. These unselfish actions continue to reinforce the true spirit of fire service and the de definition of true public service motivating others to give back to the community. For the 2014 Lakeland Fire Department Office of the Year, I am proud to introduce firefighter paramedic Margaret Orozco. First, I'm going to present the Lakeland Police Department Distinguished Service Award. This officer has served 12 years with the Lakeland Police Department and is currently a school resource officer. This officer performed an heroic act on his lunch break, exemplifying the efforts of all the award winners here today. They are always on duty to serve the public. While at lunch, this officer observed a female patron standing in line who appeared to be in distress. This officer observed that she appeared lightheaded, weak, and disoriented. This officer called dispatch and requested emergency medical service. Assistance and help support supported the patron, keeping her from falling to the floor and getting her seated in a comfortable position. This officer continued first responder assessment and was able to get a medical history from attending family 
and relay it to the emergency medical service. The victim was subsequently transported to the Lakeland Regional Medical Center from the restaurant and it was discovered that she had ha had a heart attack. This officer went back to his duty serving the citizens of Lakeland without mentioning the incident to anyone. The Lakeland Police Department was not aware of this officer's life-saving efforts until the heart attack victim called City Hall to thank the officer. For 2014 Lakeland Police Department Distinguished Service Award, I'm proud to introduce Officer Adam Williams. Now for the Lakeland Police Department Officer of the Year. This officer has served 16 years with the Lakeland Police Department and is currently a canine officer. This officer, along with four-man team, has been the United States Police Canine Association, Association Region 1 champion for four consecutive times and the United States Police Canine Association national champion two times. For the first time in history, Lakeland Police Department K-9 unit won both the regional and national titles. This is the third year in a row that a Lakeland Police K-9 Department team has received the regional top dog award. This officer and K-9 partner are currently the reigning national top dog team. This is, a very, signif this is very significant for both the Lakeland Police Department and the city of Lakeland it puts us on the map as an example of other law enforcement agencies to follow. It is hard to imagine the countless hours of training in addition to the regular assignments put in by the officer and his canine partner. They exemplify the hard work and dedication of the Lakeland Police Department and this reflects highly on this officer, his unit, and the Lakeland Police Department. For the 2014 Lakeland Police Department Officer of the Year, I'm proud to introduce K-9 Officer Ted Seeley and his K-9 partner, Bruno. It is a distinct personal honor to be able to present these awards to our two officers of our Polk County Sheriff's Office. On May 6, 2013, the Polk County Sheriff's Office received a 911 call for assistance from an individual advising that two unknown Hispanic males had entered their residence at gunpoint. The subjects forced one individual to tie up his father and then bind the father to himself. Both intruders were armed with firearms and one also had a machete. Once secured, they forced a female victim into a bedroom where she was brutally sexually assaulted. In an attempt to destroy DNA evidence, they doused the victim with bleach. They then ransacked the residence, taking jewelry and money. Working relentlessly over the next several days to develop Potential suspects, this deputy located a vehicle that was used by the suspects and a search warrant was obtained. Valuable evidence was recovered and two perpetrators were detained. The detective obtained a confession from one subject who gave details of the crime and identified his brother as his accomplice. One suspect was found guilty on November 8, 2013 and sentenced to eight life sentences. The other suspect is incarcerated and awaiting his fate. The Polk County Sheriff's Office considers this one of the most vicious crimes in recent Polk County history. A second example of this individual's outstanding ability generated national headlines in the tragic case of Rebecca Sedwick, a 12-year-old child reported missing by her mother on September 9, 2013. During the search, detectives located her body at the base of a silo not far from her home. 
During the investigation, it became obvious that Rebecca was targeted on popular social media websites and in person by two classmates. At the conclusion of the investigation, two subjects were arrested and charged with aggravated stalking. Due to hard work by this detective, bullying was brought to the forefront of our community and recognized as a national problem. It puts bullies on notice and lets victims realize they are not alone. This deputy handled these cases with a high degree of professionalism and empathy. For the 2014 Polk County Sheriff's Office Distinguished Service Award, I am proud to present Detective Jonathan McKinney. Our next honoree, this officer has been with the Polk County Sheriff's Office since 1990. During that time, this officer has received numerous personal and professional affiliation awards, including the Medal of Valor, Meritorious Service Award, Sheriff's Commendations, Department Commendations, and Bureau Division and District Commendations. This officer began his career as a K-9 Deputy Sheriff and is currently assigned as an Agricultural Sergeant. This officer participates in the anti-bullying pro-mini monster truck events with his son. On August 15, 2013, this officer and a subordinate responded to a reporter, to a reported motor vehicle crash. They discovered that the crash was caused by a man who lost consciousness while driving. When they got to the driver, they discovered he had no pulse and was not breathing. They utilized their automatic defibrillator and performed CVPR on the man. As a result, the man was, uh, is alive today, thanks to their heroic efforts. The 2014 Polk County Sheriff's Office Officer of the Year, I am proud to present Sergeant Tommy Dixon. I hope you all saw the paper today where it uh, had an article that the Polk County Sheriff's Office received a third accreditation of excellence, making them the only law enforcement agency of any type in the country to receive three such accreditations. i now like to call up our Student Allowance Program recipients, Hannah Nicole Henderson, Caitlin Victoria Swartz, and Joseph Ian White, also a recipient was Megan Elizabeth Carpenter, who could not be here today, and they will be presented their certificates by Merle Hopkins, Dixieland Lions Club. Last award, one we don't like to make, it's our Fallen Hero Award, presented to Master Deputy Joseph Shane Robbins, Polk County Sheriff's Office. It will present, be presented by Michael L. Lawton, Chairman of the Polk County Law Enforcement Memorial Fund, Incorporated. Thank you, Mr. President. Good afternoon. It is indeed my honor to read the President's Roundtable 2014 Fallen Heroes Award Citation. The citation reads as follows. Polk County Sheriff's Office Master Deputy Sheriff Joseph Shane Robbins, 
died in the line of duty on April 26, 2013, when he was involved in a single vehicle traffic crash. Deputy Robbins was married to his wife, Elisa, and they have five children. Master Deputy Sheriff Joseph Shane Robbins was a 15-year veteran of the Polk County Sheriff's Office, beginning his career in February 1998. In 2012, Deputy Robbins was promoted to Master Deputy Sheriff. Deputy Robbins served in various areas of Polk County, in patrol, special victims unit detective, and homicide detective. Shane's most recent assignment was as a patrol deputy in the Sheriff's Office Northeast District. Master Deputy Robbins received numerous recognitions to include Bureau Division, Department, and Sheriff's commendations for his public service, compassion, generosity, investigative work, and outstanding law enforcement service to his community. Deputy Robbins received a total of 14 commendations and 187 recognitions. In May 1999, Shane was awarded the Polk County Sheriff's Office Medal of Valor. During his 15-year career, Shane touched many lives across his agency and Polk County. His enthusiasm, kindness, and sense of humor would certainly be missed. Shane's infectious smile could brighten even the most difficult of days. The Polk County Sheriff's Office and the law enforcement community has indeed suffered a great loss. According to friends and colleagues, Shane loved his job and loved serving his community. From changing flat tires for a stranded motorist, apprehending criminal suspects, collecting Christmas gifts for children, and providing critical backup during officer-involved shootings, Shane served his community and his profession with dedication and pride. His care and concern for others was a much a part of his daily duties as enforcing the law. Master Deputy Shane Robbins exemplified the true meaning of being a public servant. Polk County Sheriff's Office Master Deputy Joseph S. Robbins will be officially commemorated on the Polk County Law Enforcement Memorial during the 2014 27th Annual Peace Officers Memorial Service on May 8th of this year. Deputy Robbins will become the 32nd Polk County Officer and the 14th Polk County Sheriff's Office Deputy Sheriff to be memorialized on the Polk County Law Enforcement Memorial. Having made the supreme sacrifice by giving their lives in the line of duty while serving the citizens of Polk County. The President's Roundtable is honored to present the 2014 Heroes Award in, in memory of Master Deputy Joseph Shane Robbins.